the ability to lead the new Student Association Executive Committee. A person who is willing to stay committed to representing each and every student of our community. A person who embraces the same dreams as you. This is the president that you need to lead your Student Association. Good evening everyone. My name is Akila Raghavan and I stand in front of you today with these shared values. I'm well aware that handling an executive post within the SA is no easy task and that the demands of the president are even greater. As the current education officer, I have gained valuable knowledge about working within the SA. I'm aware of its strengths and its weaknesses. Over the past year, not only have I strived towards ensuring that all students' voices are heard and that our concerns are efficiently expressed towards the management, but I took time in appreciating the effort it takes. This is the experience I shall bring forward with me next year. Over the past two years at UNMC, I have witnessed firsthand two very different student associations. This past year saw the SA becoming more approachable and open, with students continually being encouraged to express their feelings and speak up about any and all issues that they have. The SA has indeed developed and progressed further. However, is this the SA we've all been dreaming about when we first reached here? Is this the student experience we had in mind on the very first days of our university lives? I believe that this organization has a great deal of potential that is yet to be tapped into. With the right president at its head, the SA can be led into the direction of increased professionalism and improved quality of services and activities. I envision an SA where student experience is top priority. An SA where your opinion matters. An essay that is constantly progressing, yet maintaining its strengths. An essay that is credible. An essay that is ready to act in any predicament. An essay we all feel a part of. An essay you can count on. I believe that I have the prudence and determination needed to take the essay that one step further. Having been part of the current essay exact team, in addition to being able to see changes within the association, I've also seen how things can go wrong, leaving students dissatisfied. I, if elected president, I will ensure that all execs are responsible for all the decisions they make, that we operate in utmost transparency, and that all initiatives are relevant to you and I. In order to encourage accountability within the SA, there must be efficient communication. Communication has always been one of the main issues here at UNMC, and we could possibly face further challenges in the area with the communications officer post being scrapped off. In order to deal with this, I wish to set up a network of students that would exclusively handle SA communications. There are already sources of talent here at UNMC with teams like Digital Arts Guild, the Nottingham Broadcast Channel, and Ignite. I would like to make use of this enormous potential that we have here. As I mentioned, the vision I have of the new SA is not only about the execs, but about everyone being an integral part of it. In my role as education officer and managing one of the largest networks on campus, I'm well aware of the difficulties that arise when collecting student feedback. I believe that there is a strong need for an essay website with an open forum where all students can provide their opinions, express their complaints, but most importantly, have these fed into the right channels. However, what is the point of being heard if no action is being taken? I want to change that. I want the execs not only to listen to you, but to make sure that matters are dealt with effectively and followed up on. Being in touch with numerous clubs and societies residents, I understand their apprehensions in regards to the abolition of the finance and societies officers. We need to realize that societies add color to our university experience. I believe it is the duty of the president to ensure that the SA acts as a facilitator, empowering all the societies so that they can provide you with the best possible experience. After all, there is a shared goal between the SA and the societies. We all strive to the very best of our abilities in making life in UNMC as enjoyable as possible. One of my priorities for next year is to encourage the use and development of the new SA building. The SA building should be that one place that stands out from all others. That one place we call our building. This common space should be given justice in becoming the center of student activity. All this would take is determination and gathering the right resources at the right place. I believe that next year is going to be a transition period where we implement the changes that have been made this year. The job scopes of the new positions must be clearly defined and all others efficiently adapted so as to ensure a smooth progression of the SA as a whole. It is specifically in this aspect that a strong leader is required. 
One who makes herself available to all the execs at all times. One who is responsible for bringing together all the different portfolios into a single cohesive unit. One who ensures that all events, organized or initiatives being put forward are up to the mark of the association and match the overall vision of the SA. If I stand in front of you today, it's because I do believe in myself. I do know where I want our SA to go. Shouldering this responsibility for another year is no easy task, but I'm driven by my commitment to serve the student body, to serve our interests. The role of the SA president is not about politics, it's not about changing the world, but it is about influencing our university years, perhaps the best years of our lives. When placing your votes, think about the whole package. I urge you to bring back the memories of how you envisioned university life to be when you first left home. Think about what you deserve in this world-class institution. Vote for the one who will not only make idealistic promises, but also influence your life from your entertainment all the way to your career prospects after you graduate. This is my vision of the SA. I will end with a few words from Robert Rowe. Enjoy the little things, for one day you may look back and realize they were the big things. Make your vote count. Be part of it. Thank you.